This ball is bold. Coley just kind of edges it past the slip. Like, oh, no. But watch the closing speed on head here as he tracks this down. It's pretty far away from him. He doesn't care. Chasing, 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 and gets there. Stops it from hitting the boundary. Picks it up. Throws it in. Saves a run. Now, he can't touch the ball and the boundary at the same time. Otherwise, it's automatically four runs. So he's got to just stop the ball. Then his momentum is going to take him into the boundary. And then he's got to scamper up because the ball still can't touch the boundary. He's got to pick that thing up and go just in the nick of time. Saves a run. You guys didn't watch that. This is everything else you missed that you never planned on watching from last week. <laughs> Let's stay in Australia for actually their country's most popular sport, the AFL. This is the opening match between the Richmond Tigers and the Carlton Blues. They always play the opening match, and 88,000 fans were in attendance, which is nuts. Now, Carlton is the team in black and white, and they're picking the ball up now, hitting around, out of bounds. They're leading with two minutes to go. The other team, the Tigers, they need six points, which is a goal, which is between the uprights, but they don't get that. Now watch this. This slip right here, see that little slip this guy takes? If he, This guy kicks the ball. If you kick the ball and your teammate catches it, you get a free kick, an uncontested kick. So you can just shoot and score. Everyone has to just watch you do it, and they can't defend it. So if they get this and he, oh, he slips. If he didn't slip and he caught that, Carlton probably kicks another goal, and then it's probably their game. That slip was super costly. But now with a minute 22 left, the Tigers are bringing the ball upfield. This is a big goal kick downfield. You have to bounce it every 15 meters, I think. You can't just run with it. The whole time. And he catches it. So now he's like, get off me, dude. Get off me. Get off me. The guy's like, I'm trying. I'm trying. Wasn't really trying. Kind of stepped over him. And he gets a free kick. And now he kicks it to this guy. So this guy gets a free kick. And he's going to try and put it in nice range for the goal. Tom Lynch comes up with the catch. That's as big as the slip I, I talked about earlier. Because that is a contested catch. They're trying to make sure he doesn't catch it. He gets up higher than everyone. Comes down with the ball clean. Now he gets an uncontested kick. And he can get it through the middle uprights. A goal, which is worth six, which would tie it. And he does. And it's huge because he actually blew it in the playoffs at the end of last season, I believe. So everyone's excited. We got some scary kids coming up. Warning, if you're scared of teenagers, don't watch the next clip. Come on! Come Let's on! go! On. Oh, come Fuck on. yeah! Just scary kids. They're excited, but it looks like, you know, the angry beetle's gone wrong. Oh, man. Get out. Let's get out of that. Okay, so 15 seconds left. Is anything going to happen? Is someone going to win this match? Uh, bouncing around, bouncing around. Hot potato. Big old kick, big old kick. Oh, no, he couldn't catch it. If he caught it, he would have had a kick. No, they end up in a tie. They end up in a tie to, uh, to start the season. But I guess it's an exciting tie. They're like, oof, oof, oof. They shake hands. They're like, wow, what a match. What a match. See you next time. All right, enough with Australian sports. Let's get back to the U.S. Major League Cricket just had their draft. The six teams' rosters are set as the season is going to start in July. Now, it's kind of a micro season to start they're going to run a tournament. Each team will play five games. There will be playoffs, 15 games between the six teams. The six teams are. Now, you got to figure out who you're rooting for. You have the Seattle Orcas, okay? You have the Washington Freedom. You have the San Francisco Unicorns. You have the Los Angeles Knight Riders. Now, the Knight Riders, the Texas team, which are the Super Kings, and the New York team, MI New York, they're owned by owners of IPL, Indian cricket team, so they're the same name. So you have the Knight Riders. The Knight Riders are in a bunch of different leagues because it's the same owner. Same with the Super Kings. They're in the IPL and other leagues. And MI New York is a really weird name. MI is the Mumbai Indians, but they just get called MI, so it's like Mumbai Indians New York. It's kind of weird. It would be like if Steinbrenner, it would be like if the Steinbrenners started a baseball team 
in Mumbai, and they were called the NYY Mumbai. NYY Mumbai. New York Yankees Mumbai. Mumbai Indians New York. So, yeah, that's kind of confusing, but I think they're, they're hoping that Mumbai Indians fans are fans of the New York team. Anyway, I have my team. I want to know who I'm a fan of. I, unfortunately, because I don't think I love their name, but the roster, their draft, I got to root for them. Consider me a San Francisco Unicorn fan. Want to know why? Because they have three guys that I have played blitz ball with. They've got Corey Anderson, who swung and missed at that curve in the warehouse and then took that curve for a strike, and then, boom, he's from New Zealand. He's fun. He is a unicorn. They also got Liam Plunkett from England. Swings and misses at that high fastball for me. And they have Smith Patel, who was really fun to, to mess around with in the warehouse. He was uh, competitive. He didn't like it. Swinging and missing. Oh, don't throw them low, Jimmy. Don't throw them low. They just smack them. They got cricket swings. So the San Francisco Unicorns drafted three guys that were in the warehouse. Here's Corey just dicing me up because I don't know how to hit a cricket ball. It's scary as hell. I'll work on it. We'll get better. That's all I can do unless I quit, and then I'd, then I'd just be the same. I don't think I can get worse. Ooh, Jake got got too. Now, each team has a mixture of international players, players that have been playing in the U.S. for a while. Each team had to have one player under 23 as kind of like the rookie on the team to bring up the next generation, and then you have to play out of the starting 11. You have to play five domestic players because you're trying to grow cricket in the U.S., but you get to play six international players, and there's some really big names in international cricket coming to the U.S. to be part of this tournament. Aaron Finch, he's on the Unicorns. Captain, Team Australia, he's a unicorn. Stoinis, Marcus Stoinis, currently Team Australia, he's a unicorn. You got Quinton de Kock, he just set a record. He got 100 versus the West Indies in a crazy match. He's on the Orcas, same with, let me find it, let me find it. The Orcas also have Aaron Jones. He came to the warehouse as well. So maybe I'm an Orca fan as well. I don't know. There's still more names that are coming to be part of MLC. And some of these players are going to be part of Major League Cricket. Also, they're going to be part of the next ball and play league in the warehouse on our channel. I'm very excited about that. I don't know who's coming. One of them will be part of Team Baggage as Team Baggage is part of the Ball and Play League. So I got a potential teammate on the board here, and I don't know who it is. I'm excited for this. I understand if you're confused, you're like, what the hell is this? It's not going to work. Well, maybe tune in and try it out because it can be fun. So MLC had their draft, and I am a unicorn fan. We had a tie in the first segment of the AFL match, and now we have Colgate and Lafayette tied at nine in this lacrosse match. Lafayette needs the win. Ten seconds left, seven seconds left. Nick Rossi with the ball, looking for a pass, looking for a pass. Shit, I got to take it myself. Spin move, you're gone. Up top, goal. Game winner as the clock hits zero. They're going to celebrate. They're going to dogpile. Number 22 is going to turn around to his teammate and be like, guys, be cool. Be cool. Let's not make this dangerous. He's at the bottom of the pile. We don't want him to get hurt. But people don't listen. The people jump on the top of the dog pile. That's how you can tell they've never been on the bottom. They've never scored the goal. Look at number four here, right on top. Come on, 20. And I don't mean to call you guys out. Maybe you're heroes, but come on. Look at him down there. His buddy, he's going to like tap him slash punch him. Like, you alive, dude? Stanka, you dead? Yeah, man. Number eight. Oh, man, just stinks to be down there. He's all lifeless. His legs are just flailing around like Wizard of Oz. He gets up. <sighs> number 44. Number four congratulates him. You did it. You did it. Okay, I know. I know. Let me catch my breath. Okay, thank you, dude. Let me catch my breath. Nice job. Nice job. 47 comes. 14 comes. 46. Tons of fours across the board. Here's 44 again. Like, I got to do my handshake with you. Boom, 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 Okay, thanks, man. Thanks. Nice goal. Nice goal. Yep, thanks, thanks. Don't know if it was worth it. But good job. Good job, Nick. Game winner for Lafayette. And the final segment, we're going to go to Six Nations Rugby. And you're probably thinking, you just did rugby. No, that was the AFL. 
This is way different. This is the Six Nations Rugby. I talked about this in the opening match on a Things You Missed a little bit ago. Well, now the Six Nations Tournament is complete, and Ireland went undefeated. They beat Wales 34-10. They beat France 32-19. They beat Italy 34-20. They beat Scotland 22-7, and they beat England 29-16. Ireland now has five Six Nations title championships and three Six Nations Grand Slam titles. How about that? They secured the championship in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. Wouldn't you know it? James Lowe. I was at Coach Ballgame's Sandlot. His name is James Lowe. Uh, well, James Lowe and Mac Hansen were the leaders for Ireland in tries. Johnny Sexton led in conversions and penalty goals. And Hugo Keegan, <laughs> Hugo Keegan led in meters made. So Ireland went 5-0, and 27 points coming in first place. Italy did the opposite. They went 0-5, only got one point. A sad one point for Italy. Bummer. And there you go. That was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, all of that if you're enjoying these as well as the breakdowns, which will be coming out more regularly as MLB season is about to start. And IPL season. Fan of the week. Who do you got? Last week, I believe, B1. This week, it is A, B, C, D, I don't know if I did my hands right. You let me know. Comment. Make sure that you believe in it when you leave the comment. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. Go Unicorns.